to the volleyball court where it was the final game of the season for the Grand Junction Tigers and the students were pumped for this one. The visiting Montezuma Cortez drew first blood winning set one. But here in set two, the Tigers were determined. Sia Ludlam delivers the kill here to put GJ up 15 to five. And off the dig from the Panthers, Avery Wagner stands tall for the block as the Tigers lead by 11. And Wagner is there again like a brick wall in front of the net to put GJ up 18 to six. And Montezuma Cortez isn't going away as Tessa Jackson hits it over and gets the kill cut the Tigers lead to 22-11 and the Panthers get an ace now off a nice hit from Kiskali Beckman to make it 21-13 and Beckman does it again another ace for Cortez as they cut it to 21-15 and these Panthers just refusing to go down as Jackson gets a heck of a block for the Panthers fifth point in a row to make it 21-17 and this but this set attempt for Montezuma Cortez goes out to give the Tigers a 23 to 18 lead. And GJ can almost taste the set win now. Wagner slams it down hard to give GJ the set point. And they can close it out with a soft, easy touch and kill by Taylor Beagle. And the GJ faithful loves it as the Tigers even this one up. And Grand Junction kept on rolling. And they end their season on a high note and get to three the three to one win over the Panthers of Montezuma Cortez. So while as a whole, it wasn't necessarily a banner year for the Tigers. It's big to get a win and confidence for the future of this team. And the Tigers were also on the soccer pitch tonight for a huge playoff game over in Windsor. But Grand Junction season has come to an end with a two to one loss to the Wizards. But a disappointing end, but a truly a, a great season for the Tigers as they were the only school from the Valley to make it to the postseason. And in Glenwood Springs, the Demons got the win over the Red Hawks to move on to the second round of the playoffs. And it was a big offensive explosion for Glenwood Springs, putting five into the back of the net in this one. Next up, the Demons will take on Steamboat Springs, who has outscored them seven to nothing in the two games they faced off this season. That match is set for Wednesday and to the ice boy, the abs finally look human as they suffer their first loss of the year on the road in Pittsburgh. And simply this was just not Colorado's night as they are shut out four to nothing. The good news is that at six and one, the Avs still sit atop the Central Division. Colorado will look to extend their lead in the standings Sunday when they're in Buffalo to take on the Sabres. And speaking of Buffalo, the Bills got back in the win column with the big win over the Bucks on Thursday night football. Buffalo now moves to five and three as they look to keep pace with Miami in the AFC East. What a marvelous night of sports on the Western Slope and across the country. But that's all my time for sports. I'm Big Will Evanson.